The remote is the venue, but the heart that makes the culture is, is what's inside of us and how we view one another. It will find a way to ooze out on everybody else and you will have that culture. I think it's fair to say we're ahead of the game. We've been doing remote work with a fully distributed team for over a decade now. Really out of necessity in the beginning. I was in Nashville. My brother was in California when we started the business. Today we span 10 different states with almost 30 people and over 90% of us have never even met each other in person. Doing this for over a decade we've really figured out what works and what doesn't work. You can't just dive into remote work and look for ministry opportunities to happen. You really need to put a, a focus on the foundation, building the foundation of meaningful relationships, establishing a shared purpose around your core values. Establishing shared purpose at Abenity really became about structuring a social mission around something that's bigger than our product, bigger than our services, and even bigger than our industry. When Mark and I started the business, we committed a percentage of our profit towards the biggest problem we could think of, which was extreme poverty. So we teamed up with World Vision. Today we're sponsoring hundreds of kids through World Vision. And when, and when times get tough and seasons get dark, we have this foundational why that we can rally together and fight for in pursuit of this common cause. Every team member has a sense of ownership and responsibility for the end result because what we do day to day goes beyond just serving our clients. We all feel responsible to make the whole company better. Running a fully remote team really starts with meaningful relationships. From there, it's really about establishing rhythms and patterns around your core values that set the right expectations for the team. That's getting together once a month for an all-team huddle. Um, it's the no agenda, one-on-one -on -one calls. What we were feeling was that we only talked to each other when there was a fire to put out, when there was an emergency. And because of that, we never got below the surface and we never were establishing deeper relationships. And we found ourselves missing important moments in the lives of our team. They have to be equipped at home to be able to be free to serve us. And they need to serve the people at home in their lives first. And so the no agenda phone calls allow us to have the opportunity to really see how things are going. We don't need to be physically in an office to be a part of those moments. I feel like because we're able to um, lean in on such a personal level and like talk about what's going on in our life or what has gone on in our life that we're still struggling with, that that makes just a holistically stronger relationship toward um, the giving feel that Abenity is. Galatians 6.2 says, carry each other's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of, of Christ. There are some times when life just throws a boulder on us and it's like, it is too much for anyone to handle. That's the burden. You know, when, when it's like, I'm, I'm buckling guys, my knees are buckling. I didn't expect to be impacted as significantly as I was by today's huddle. One of our team members who literally carved out time after returning from chemo treatments for her husband, popped on the call and joined us. She shared her life story publicly when she's never been able to do that before. I lost my family when I first started here. And y'all may not be blood, but y'all are far greater than that. Because in the body of Christ, it's so much closer and deeper than anything that I have ever experienced in my life. This love from each and every one of you, I treasure. I thank you all from the bottom of my soul, I do. I love you, Sandra. I love you, babes. You know I do. That was the work of the Holy Spirit. That was, that was the Lord showing up. And that reflects the community that is on the other side of meaningful relationships.